the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. So we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We take a moment to think about how we have been with other people we have been with God. And so let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with you. Father eternal, giver of life and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliverance. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are struggling and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out of the darkness to walk as children of God. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. So please would you stand as we say the song of praise in heaven, and we'll let the angels provide the music. So we say together, Glory Amen. to God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. When you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So as we stand, let us pray. Almighty God, who search us and know us, may we rely on you in strength and rest on you in weakness, now and in all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated proudly. Oh, no one anything 
accept to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment, are summed up in this word, love your neighbour as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbour, therefore love is a fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is dearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the work of darkness and put on the armour of light. Let us live honourably as in the day, not in rebellion and drunkenness, nor in debauchery and licentiousness, nor in quarrelling and jealousy. Instead, to put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stand for the gospel reading. Alleluia, alleluia. We do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to his disciples. If another member of the church sins against you, Go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. One of my favourite songs by a band called Massive Attack begins with the lyric, Love, love is a verb. Love is a doing word. This could be summing up what Paul is writing to the Romans in this week's extract from his letter. Last week we were learning what it means to take up our cross and follow Jesus, inspired by Brene Brown's comment that she makes sure she chooses courage over comfort every day. It is an active choice. It's the same for us, taking up our cross and following Jesus is an active choice. Paul writes, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. Loving one another isn't something we can put off, something we say, well, I'll do that when I feel a bit more like it. Love is not a passive thing. Love is not something that will just happen. Love is a verb, a doing word, not a noun, a thing. This means that loving one another is a choice. Just like taking up our cross and following Jesus is a choice we have to make daily. We need to choose courage over comfort, and that means choosing to love, choosing the light over the darkness. Jesus is talking about this in the passage we just heard from Matthew's Gospel. He's describing what to do when there is conflict in the community. Loving one another means addressing the wrongs and bringing out things into the light. And there is the promise that as we do the difficult work of love, 
that God is there in the midst of us. Now we often hear that verse quoted when a tiny number of people turn up to church and we say, well, when two or three are gathered, there is God among us. But the context of these words from Jesus is the context of dealing with something difficult, making a difficult decision. When we gather together and ask for God's help, he is always there with us. Paul writes about the long night being over and the dawn arriving. We live in this strange between time, between the resurrection and the second coming. The now and the not quite yet of the kingdom of God. And Paul is exhorting us to live in the light of the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of this world. This world feels more like a place of darkness and evil than ever. But we must live in the light of God's kingdom. Make the choice to love. Put on the armour of light. What might this look like? Well, the armour of light, to me, sounds like it stands out. It sounds like a uniform that is recognisable. Put on Jesus Christ, Paul says, and make no provision for the flesh. Choose to love. Choose to be out in the open. Choose for people to see whose team you are on. Let us remember that love is a verb. Jesus says that people will know we are Christians by our love. We are on team light, not team darkness. We are on team Jesus. We don't sit on the sidelines, relegated to the benches, but we are out on the pitch, putting in the hard work, and always, always, Jesus is there in our midst. We walk as children of light. Madeline Lakewell said, We draw people to Christ not by loudly discrediting what they believe, by telling them how wrong they are and how right we are, but by showing them a light that is so lovely that they want with all their hearts to know the source of it. So what may we bring light into this dark world? and continue to live in the knowledge that the dawn is coming. As we always say at every Eucharist, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Amen. Please would you stand as we declare our faith in the words of the Queen together. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God. Light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, the one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified and punished tired. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and to his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. Who has spoken to 
or clinicians skilled, and friends who are there whatever the cause, we give you thanks. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, you are among us when tears flow and day turns to night. Gather to yourself all who have died. We remember all of our own loved ones who have seen and not yet. And we remember those who have recently died. Baby Walter Lockwood, Reverend David Cole, Bill Brown, and Gladys Jones. Bring us to the joy of the dawning new day of your resurrection. Lord, in your mercy. As we move into a new week, help us to choose courage over comfort. Help us to choose love, knowing that you are always with us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please would you stand as you are able, please. We've had to become quite creative in the way that we share the peace in a kind of non-touch and kind of a way. I'm sure quite a lot of Anglicans are quite relieved that they don't have to go around and shake people's hands anymore at this point in the service. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called children of God. We meet in the name of Christ and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. So let's wave at one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Yes, it's nice, you just very risk of this.
so he fulfills your will and works in you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory.
creator. You feed your children with the true man, the living bread of heaven. Let this holy food sustain us through our earthly pilgrimage until we come to that place where hunger and thirst are no more. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood. Amen. Nice.